We're ready? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, so, who are you? What do you do? How, when did you join? My name is Ben Bernstein. I'm a forward deployed engineer and I joined about four months ago. Where'd you go to school? I went to the uh, University of Pennsylvania. Where'd you grow up? Uh, right outside Philadelphia. Very and close. I ran into you the other day. The reason why you're on this video is I asked you what surprised you the most in joining Palantir. And what surprised you the most besides that you're on video now and you're about to be famous? That, that was a little bit surprising. The, the biggest thing that surprised me, I think, was the lack of, of really true hierarchy at the company. And they sort of mentioned it a little bit in the interviews, but it's hard well, to get well, a sense. What does true hierarchy mean and what contact have you had with true hierarchy? It sounds like true crime. Yeah, in, in a previous job, I, I had a direct boss. Well, you who, don't have to mention the name, but like what kind of company and like what kind, how did the boss, like was it, you know, how is it different than this? Yeah, I guess it was, nominally I'm your boss. Right. It, it was a product design consulting yeah, company, yeah. Uh, and I had a, a person who was directly in charge of exactly what I was doing every day, uh, and who sort of made decisions about how well I did and, and gave me direct feedback and updates. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, was the person who was doing my reviews at the end of the year and things like that. Um, and I had a you know very specific you know uh, reporting structure of this person got their feedback from someone above them and someone above them and so forth and that trickled down very directly um, whereas here from what I've noticed is there's a lot of ad hoc uh, you know control and and uh, authority that uh, just comes up to you know who's actually doing the work and who's actually involved and who's closest to the, the matter at hand uh, and that I think gives a lot I mean more the, my caricature of this is in a, a normal organization you have a chain of command where sometimes, certainly from a technical perspective, the, the delta between what you'd want to build and what you're being asked to build, to build is, is fairly wide. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to get the iteration of what you should build back to the top since it all goes down. There's no upward function. Yeah. Uh, and authority is derived purely from the role and therefore the, you know, con the, the compensation but at Palantir, mostly the authorities derive from who is the subject matter expert on this technical problem. Right. And, and, and maybe also even who has the most experience with the problem itself and with the client and, and you know, who's the, actual, the end user, because they have the best sense of what the end user actually and needs. And what technical challenge are you working on now? Right now I'm working on uh, data harmonization uh, for one of our clients, dealing with lots of internal data that they generate on their own uh, and external data that they're pulling and why in is from. that a difficult problem? It's difficult because they have to deal with different data sets that all have different levels of data quality. Uh, so a lot of the information that they get in from outside sources is dirty at best and sometimes it's, it changes day to day uh, and they need to be able to handle all of those challenges and pull everything together to get a full view of their entire operation. Ergo, see the pipelining and Palantir Foundry and Ontology. Right. Nice to have you here. Thank Take you. care.